This video is sponsored by Audible. Audible is home to thousands of audiobooks, podcasts, guided meditations, comedy, theatrical performances, Audible originals that you can't find anywhere else, and more, believe it or not. I actually don't even have enough time to go into how much they offer, so I want to highlight something in particular that Audible is doing to alleviate some challenges people are facing, um, especially during quarantine. So, Audible launched a website called, and the URL is stories.audible.com, where anyone, anywhere can stream hundreds of titles completely free, no strings attached, for as long as quarantine lasts. And I remember growing up how special it was to listen to a story be read out loud. I could use my imagination and not be constantly looking at a screen. So this spoke to me in particular and I was really happy to let you know about it, especially if you have kids in your life. Again, that's stories.audible.com. If you're interested in getting yourself a sweet deal on an Audible membership, you can enjoy one credit for any audiobook plus two free Audible originals every single month with their summer promo. It's 46% off four months, so that'll last you throughout the entire summer. Spend some time outside listening, close your eyes, soak up some vitamin D. <laughs> yes, you need it. That's four months of Audible for just $7.95 a month. The offer ends June 15th though, so definitely check it out right now by going to audible.com slash GB or texting GB to 500-500. I am personally back on my Hamilton grind, listening to Marishka Hardigay and Lynn manuel Miranda himself read Hamilton the Revolution. Yeah, it's amazing. It's about both history and the actual show. I'm really, really enjoying it. So thank you so much to Audible for sponsoring this video. You can get a great summer deal of four months of Audible for $7.95 a month by going to audible.com slash GB or texting GB to 500, 500. Enjoy the video. Hello, guys. Today I wanted to take out my Ozio keyboard and I might take out a few other keyboards as well, but I really like this one because of its warm backlighting and my other keyboard that lights up I currently use my one from drop.com, the one that I actually use every day. But this one I thought was perfect for some ASMR purposes. The buttons. are circular and when you press them it sounds like a typewriter Instead of just typing away like uh, my other keyboard videos, I'm just gonna do like more triggers with it so it's not just a typing video. I think this one is a bit too loud for it anyway, but I think. The buttons themselves in the back being leather is more what I'm going to explore in this portion. It's got 
the rose gold rim. It's metal. And then the white leather textured back. And then these smooth white buttons, which have the same rose gold border exterior. And then they are backlit by a nice warm light. So let's take our brush here and sweep through the keys. Make sure there's no dust, dirt, or debris. on the side. Make sure we have all the necessary letters that we need. Q W E R T Y F G H J K L Z X C V B N and M just to double check, we should probably go in alphabetical order. We have A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I,
Now some people say that they don't know how to properly type on a keyboard. I was taught, I think, a fairly traditional way. And that was to have your index fingers on F and J. Most keyboards have a little indent or out dent button ridge feeling spot. So when that you're looking up at the screen, you take your hands off the keyboard. You can find that you're on F and J again. So that's where your index fingers go. Your middle fingers go on D and K. Ring fingers go on S and L. And then your pinkies would rest on A and then the semicolon. Your thumbs sit on the space. So when you're typing, you can use your pinky to press the shift key when you're trying to do a capital letter. Your left hand has control of all the buttons down here and up here. Your right hand has control of all the buttons. And then you share the space. If I wanted to do a capital F, I would use my right pinky to hold the shift and press F. If I wanted to do a capital J, I would use my left pinky to hold shift and press J. So we could type like this. A, B, C, D, E, F, G. Sometimes I use different fingers to press different um, letters. A lot of the times they'll stay the same. But sometimes it's just what the situation calls for. I'm not going to press the spacebar much anymore. Don't love how it sounds.
is actually sitting on some feet. This is the gamer standpoint. Your mouse and your WASD. Sims. I oftentimes put my hands on one, two, three, which is the speeds, and P to pause, and your mouse to move around the camera.
hopefully a lot of you are. Please closing your eyes. I am going to bring in a different keyboard for just a few minutes. Because I think it makes such nice sounds. I don't have this backlit. I'm not sure I could do it without connecting it to a computer. But I'm going to unplug this one. Now let's try this. This is the Apple Magic Keyboard. It's quite dark on camera, but again, hopefully most of you are closing your eyes by now. And this is a membrane keyboard, as far as I know. Which Although it isn't my favorite for working on, gaming on, etc. Makes wonderful sounds. And is very pleasing, I think, to type on. I'm realizing we need to put something underneath it to prevent it from making bad sounds. So I'm going to unfold the shirt. Oh yeah. much better. I'm not typing anything um, just gibberish right now. metal. A little plastic or so backing, I suppose. And then up here, this is where you put the batteries in. And then this side has the power button. It needs new batteries.
I didn't leave my room back then either. Just kidding. I was actually pretty busy. I went to class most of the time. But I hated, 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 hated working in public, uh, the library, the lab, etc. So I would only work at home. I got myself a computer. You've seen two of my bedrooms that I had when I was using this keyboard. This keyboard is, some in, is in some of my very, very old videos. Thank you. <laughs> okay. Let me do some slow, slow typing. You will drift off to a well-deserved sleep. 